Good day, ladies and gents. Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to talk about autocriticism or self criticism. Can be a valuable tool for improving one's performance in any field, including live streaming and content creation. By being critical of your own work, you can identify areas for improvement and work to make your content more engaging and effective. I'm your host, Will Gossid, tech enthusiast, gamer, live streamer. Here are a few tips for practicing autocriticism in live streaming and content creation. First one, watch your own stream and your own videos. One of the best ways to identify areas for improvement is to watch your own streams and videos. These can be difficult as it can be uncomfortable to watch yourself on camera, but it's important to be objective and critical of your own work. Pay attention to areas where you stumbled where your content seem to drag or where your viewers seem to lose interest. Number two, take notes. As you watch your own streams, take notes on what you see. Identify specific areas that need improvement and make a note of them. This will help you stay focused on the areas where you need to improve and will give you a checklist of things to work on. Number three, ask for feedback. Do not be afraid to ask for feedback from viewers. Encourage them to share their thoughts and their opinions on your stream and on your videos. This can be a valuable source of information that can help you improve your content. If you learn anything so far, I would appreciate a thumbs up on the video. Leave me a comment down below if you agree or don't agree with this point. While you're down there, don't forget to subscribe. Let's go to number four. Set goals. Once you have identified areas for improvement, set specific goals for yourself. For example, if you notice that you tend to ramble on in your streams, set a goal to be more concise and stay on topic. If you notice that your viewers aren't engaging with your content, set a goal to be more interactive and encourage more participation. Number five, practice, practice, practice. Finally, the best way to improve your live streaming and video making skills is to practice. Keep streaming, keep recording, and use your notes and feedback to make incremental improvements. With time and effort, you'll be able to refine your skills and produce better content that engages and entertains your audience. Before I leave you guys, I want to give you a bonus tip. If you are scared to be on camera, do me a favor. Well, actually, don't do this for me. This is actually for you. You know the camera that you have on your phone? Lock yourself in the toilet, lock yourself in your room, and record yourself for one minute for 30 days straight. Nobody has to see it, so don't worry. It's just for you. But once you're done, with the minute that you're recording yourself, watch back at least a few times. And as we were talking about in the points before, just take notes of what you see. This is the best way to improve you on camera. Now, if you watch this video, I'm sure you will like either this video or this video down there. You pick, I'll see you there. Good mates.